Hello and welcome to Animation Flash Chapter 4 Lesson 5, specifically working with movie clips. Now it's really important as you go through here, one of the things that uh, I learned uh, the hard way was that when it's talking about testing the actual animation, don't run it, actually test it in a Flash player, because then you'll actually get the effect. So I'm starting in Flash 4-38, specific, specifically FL4 underscore 9 dot FLA. So I've loaded up my car. I'm very happy with my car. The very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the car itself. That's going to allow me to do the mar marquee around it. I'm going to then do modify and break apart. That's going to allow me to access the individual items. What I then want to do according to number five is I want to actually zoom in on this bad boy right here. I push control plus for mine. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking specifically to get to the wheels. So um, I want to go ahead and click the selection tool, right? Here's my selection tool. And I want to hit the gray part of my cup hubcap. Then I'm going to hit shift. It's going to allow me to select each individual part of the hubcap. And then I'm going to drag the hubcap down. That's going to bring my hubcap right there. Then what I want to do is I want to, all right, so I'm good. And this is similar to figure 57. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're selected the entire thing. So here we are. We selected the entire thing. And then I want to modify and I want to convert that to a symbol. And the symbol, a name as it appears in number 3, 4-39, is MC underscore wheel. Well, they have an icon, but this is going to be a movie clip. Make sure it uh, includes the mo movie clip portion, and I want to push OK. Now, if you look over here, shortly after you did that in the library, you now have an MC Wheel movie clip. So, in the, I want to then, let's see, mm -hmm. And click the stain, does that click the gray area? The wheel is selected. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to change the gray gradient. So I'm going to be here, and I'm going to, here's my selection tool. I should then be able to click, make sure my gray gradient, and I'm going to click here, and I should be able to click, let's see, whoop. <laughs> click it, blink area stain, then click the gray area on the wheel to select it. So I'm supposed to click here. Here, I'm going to supposed to unselect it, click the brink of a stage, and then click the gray area of the wheel to select it. Ah, here's the issue. Mr. Sebastian forgot to double click the actual wheel here, so we should be editing it here. And I'm going to push my control, my control and my plus button to bring that in. Now it should be doable. Now that Mr. Sebastian has followed the directions a little bit more. So, now I come along, and here's my selection tool. I select here, that allows me to select the gray part. I then want to come along, and I want to change my fill tool to, here's my gray, gray gradient. And I want to make sure I select that there. So now I've actually changed it accor accordingly. Um, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click the selection tool. I'm going to click over here. I've already done all that. That was the instructions on Flash 4-39. Now I want to make sure to select this entire wheel, so it's selected, and I want to insert motion tween and then push OK. So I'm on number one, and I want to insert motion tween, and I do want to convert it. It's going to make this symbol one right here. It says point to the end of the tween span on layer 1, which is this right here, and I want to drag the span to frame 48. So I want to drag the span to frame 48. All right. Then I want to click on frame 1. Okay. And, I wanted to, and I, then I want to display the properties panels, and I'm going to then change my rotate to 4 times. So here's my rotate to 4 times, and I want to make sure it's clockwise. So the direction is clockwise, which is CW or clockwise, correct. And the frame rotation should be uh, 12. So what I do is I click back on my layer, my timeline. Oh, so my timeline then changes there. And I should be able to unselect. There we go. And I should, here's my frame. So I've unselected it. And now I change it to 12. So it's 12 frames per second. Now if I come along and I click this, I have a rotating wheel. And I am definitely all a flutter at this point in time. Now what I'm going to do is, as it appears on top of 4-41, I'm then going to go back to Scene 1. My Scene 1, I'm then going to push Control and then Minus, 
that allows me to kind of zoom out. I could use the zoom out. And then from there, I want to choose, let's see, view. And we've done that. Now we want the marquee. Now I want to take my values here. I want to then take my MC wheel, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to move it right here. Then I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to move that right here. All right. So that should allow me to then, there we go. So now I've got my wheel selected. Now, notice I took the MC wheel and I put it back in each one of these. If I was to play this, I wouldn't see those wheels unless I play it in a flash animation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the mar mar my marquee to select all these items. Once I've done that, I want to draw, I want to insert motion tween. So I want to, so I've done that. I want to insert motion tween. I'm on page 4-41, uh, number 14. So insert motion tween. And then I would drag the tween span on layer 1 to 48. Tween span on layer 1 to 48. Then what I want to do is I want to drag the entire car to the right side of the stage. And then what I want to go ahead and do is I want to test it. I want to test my flash moving. So I'm going to come on and it, uh, let's see here. I always forget. There we go. Test movie in Flash Professional. And now I can actually see these items rotated. So what happens is I actually created the hubcaps in uh, Flash using a movie where it rotates X number of times per. And then what happens is as I turn around and I say, OK, now um, I'm going to go ahead and insert it to go along with my graphic, include some motion tweens, and uh, so I actually see an item where that's concerned. All right, so this was actually utilizing uh, Create Movie Clips. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'm very sorry for the various guest speakers that cannot keep their mouth low during this time. Thank you for your time and your consideration.